all, we've made our way back into the kitchen. And when you think of tamales, you probably think of the delicious, savory ones filled with meat. But here to show us how to make sweet dessert tamales, please welcome back the James Beard award-winning host of Patty's Mexican Table, our good friend, Chef Patty Hinich. Welcome. Hey. 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 You were so close to be in your kitchen. This is great. I how mean, about this? sweet tamales. I know. I feel like I'm sweet tamale. I'm going to start using I that know. as a saying. I'm and so excited about this. The funny thing is that Mexicans, we love tamales so much that even if we have savory tamales, as you were saying, chicken, meat, we want our sweet tamales. We want dessert tamales. It's a thing. And we it's have to let thing. people know. I love it. We're going to let everybody know. And Cameron and, and Ken and Orly are going to dig in and yep. know sooner than I am even. So before we get started on making the masa, because it's very important to make a good masa to make a beautiful tamale, tell us a little bit about the history of tamales. So tamales have been an iconic Mexican food since pre-Hispanic times. I mean, for not centuries, but millennia. And wow. the thing about a tamal, a tamal is a tamal if it's something that's cooked in a leaf or a husk. Okay. There has to be one kind or another of a masa and some filling. Okay. So the options are endless. Sure. So not why a... wouldn't you put sweet in there? Exactly. So in Mexico, we have festivities that we call tamaladas or parties that are centered around tamales. You know, you eat tamales in the corner, in street food stands, oh, but you also in celebrations. But you have meals that are nothing but tamales, and we can't have enough of them. Uh, well, you know what? I'm right there with you. I can't ever have enough tamales. I love them. I know around Christmas time you make a lot, but I'd like them year-round. Yeah. So it starts with whipping together your shortening and making it very fluffy, correct? Yes. So three basic things about tamales. The masa, the husks, how you wrap them, and how you cook them. Okay. So to make the masa, you need a fat. So, I'm so gonna... we start beating lard or vegetable shortening. Okay. And in order to have a really good masa, you just have to whip it a lot until it becomes very airy. So here we have the vegetable shortening, a little water. We're gonna add some baking powder. Okay. To make it buff a okay. little more. Then we're adding salt. All right. And then we're going to alternate by adding some water and some masa harina, which is the dehydrated masa. Okay, which and is then, corn. Which is corn. It's nixtamalized corn. Okay. And so you add water. I add the masa. And then there's different brands. You can try to see which one you like. But as you see, you want to get a masa that's thick and rich. Okay. Um, there I added all oh of the gosh. masa harina. I love that it comes together almost like clay. Exactly. And some people like to do these by hand. You know, making tamales is really a communal family right. thing. So then this is this could be a savory masa, sure. but now we're going to make it sweet. Oh, yeah. I forgot so we're going to add cinnamon. Okay. And we're going to add sugar. I get that little cinnamon in there. I you like that. You get it? Did you get it? Yeah, what are you guys? Surprising. Okay, we're still cooking them and you're eating love them. It. Tell us what you think. Yeah, it's super. I didn't like it at all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you haven't even started making Sorry. the tamale yet, and you've eaten the whole thing. My okay. wife has been on the show making savory tamales, right. and so I, it's the only type I've ever had, and I've got to say, these are absolutely delicious. So. I, you know, the, the diversity is incredible. So you need to really beat these for at least 10 minutes, okay. it really, and you know that the masa is ready. That's what I was going to These ask. are three tricks. Okay. One is consistency. It has to be thick, heavy, okay. thick, like a thick cake batter. Okay. A second one is when you raise a little bit of masa and you let it fall. You it have to that hear sound. that <laughs> flop. Yeah. And then That's another cool. thing so is you could have. You're saying. Yes, it's you know by feel, by <laughs> ear. But also, if you have a little bit of water with an ice cube and you add a little bit of masa, it should float. That's what Vanessa does. Oh. That's what his wife does. Oh, see, it's a thing. So then you have your corn husks, which you have put in hot water to make sure they're malleable. Yes, yeah. so that they don't break when you go like that. Okay. And then we're gonna have one for you, one for me. And then you have the tapered end looking at you. Okay. And then you're going to put some masa like this. Just like that? And you treat it, you know, like she's your friend. You don't have to be precious with it. You spread okay. it a little bit around. And you leave some room in the bottom and the top. And then we add the blackberries. Oh. And just the pecans. That's it? Just blackberries and pecans. I mean, and you can play. I mean, if you want to sure. add chocolate chips, if oh, you want to add coconut, whatever chips. you want. And then oh, gosh, to close me. it, you... Excuse me, I don't mean to yes. I'm sorry. You, okay. Oh, you made a really chubby tamale. I love chubby tamale. <laughs> love chubby tamale. you just tamales. called my tamale flat. <laughs> okay, now what? And then you close it like that. Okay. 
and then you go to one side or the other and you left space in the bottom. Okay. You fold it. All right. And then you press it like that. Oh boy, oh. I do it. Oh. See? Okay, and, and then, then you then, have your tamale. Is that the same technique whether you're doing a savory or sweet? Because yes. I'm, I think I'm gonna go Just like that. Different oh, technique. Oh, no. Yes, you want to cross might. that line? Very I easy. Might. That seems dangerous. And then, but now we have to steam them. Yes. So, so you, you don't have, tie them or anything? You just leave them like that? You don't have to tie them. I mean, you can. Usually, people tie them when they want to distinguish flavors. So if oh. I'm making chocolate and blackberry, I'll put a little tie on the chocolate. Uh, okay. One. But then the tamalera is super important. You put the tamales. Um, Vertically, so that the masa won't fall. Oh, this this is just such a beautiful sight here. You smell. That. Oh my goodness. The tamales smell so nice. But you know that the tamales are ready, just like muffins, when the husk peels off the tamal and it doesn't stick anymore. Oh. Look See? at how easy that was. Oh, no. How long yeah, would we leave them in there? So you leave them in here for an hour, and then you put water underneath the steaming sure. basket, and you drop a coin so that when you're running out of water, the coin will start jumping oh. to let you know, oh. you know it's oh, ready. So you know it's so ready. Some cool people tip. say that you put money in to keep the tamales happy. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. well, some people both. sing while the tamales are cooking, but you then- know, You know yeah. what probably made you pretty happy you is you nice. show uh, Patty's Mexican table mm. receiving the big honor. Tell us about this. Yeah, it was, I'm, I'm just so happy. We got the James Beard oh, award. That's a big that's, deal. Yeah. That's a really big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, so well deserved. Yeah, what do you think? Oh my gosh, are you yeah, kidding? Yeah, exactly. I'll never have a savory tamale again. Well, I would. <laughs> oh, crazy. Those, those are my boys. There it is. All right. Well, thank you.